Many times people who are disabled are viewed as unable to accomplish much. One man who's only three feet tall proves that's definitely the wrong perception. CBS 2's disability reporter Jim Mullen introduces us to Sean Stevenson, the fragile giant. Like Sean Stevenson like was born with a genetic disorder. It's called osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a rare bone disorder that affects the strength of the bones and stunts the growth, if you hadn't noticed. By the time I was 18 years old, I had fractured over 200 times. Something as simple as sneezing would break a collarbone. There were times, Jim, where I, I was so frustrated with my situation because I wanted to be just like everybody else. In fourth grade, he remembers breaking his leg on Halloween. So I couldn't go to the Halloween party or trick-or-treating, and I was furious. That's when his mother asked a key question. Would he regard his condition as a curse or a gift? It was up to him. I started to realize that this pain was going to be with me several times in my life, and I had to deal with it, but I could use it to my advantage by understanding that everyone goes through that pain. And from that moment on, I realized I was no longer angry. Sean accomplished a lot after that. He attended DePaul University, joined a fraternity, wrote his first book called How Youth Can Succeed. <laughs> and graduated with honors, earning a degree in political science. Now he motivates others to That's try their right. best. He is a very in-demand motivational speaker. People get frustrated and depressed and upset about the littlest things. And I come strolling in, and just my visual presence gets people to think, well, wait a minute, look how much fun he's having in life. Sean sure knows how to have fun. He works out regularly with weights and his racing chair. He dates and has an active social life. Jim, a lot of times people ask me, oh, if you could wake up tomorrow and not have your disability, wouldn't that be great? You know, I, feel, I feel really sorry that you have to go through this. And I tell people, you're making a huge assumption that I don't like my life the way it is. I, I love my life. Well, Sean began working out and eating healthier five years ago. And since then, he tells us he has not had a broken bone. And Jim, Sean is truly inspirational as you are. What drives you two to overcome obstacles like this? Well, I'll tell you, Mary, what a really enlightening story. Uh, Sean was really a nice guy to meet. And he's very, very happy the way he is. You know, it's just another accomplish uh, to show its accomplishments that people with disabilities can do. And uh, he's got a job now where he does professional speaking, and he's graduated college, and he's met every challenge in his life. And you know, there's a lot of people out there who are watching us right now that are able-bodied and haven't done what Sean's already accomplished. So. You're right. Boy, and he's got a lot of energy. He sure does. And guy. What a fun guy, really. You bet. Jim, we're going to look forward to your next report. Well, I'm looking forward to it, too. Thanks for having Good. me. It's again. great to see you. Good to see you, too. And if you'd like to email Jim, you can just log on to our website, cbs2chicago.com.